All right, so I'm a little bit late to the water dungeon <clears throat> uh, because because I, I accidentally hit the double XP booster. And yeah, I know they have that save proof thing or whatever. We got to hit yes, but I was really tired, so I just kept hitting yes. I'm still tired, and I can see it's still going, but I really don't want to use it right now. Um, I got a new one in here anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. But, okay, that's not what I'm here for. Uh, people ask me where do I farm essence because I guess they think I awaken monsters really fast. I don't. I go through the same shit y'all go through. I have to uh, farm all day. And I have a few water monsters that I have to awaken. So I'll show y'all. As you can see, I need 20 highs. So I'll be here for a while. But I'm going to start farming. And this is my, I do usually B8 or B7. You want to do one of these uh, teams because, I mean, one of these floors because they go much faster than like B9 or B10. And you get just around the same drops. And you don't want to be here all day. You want to do something that you can form really, really fast. And that, that's what Orochi is here for because he lays down those dots and takes down uh the boss's HP is super fast. And I won't show y'all. I'm just doing one run real quick. And after that, I'll just take a picture of everything, of all my runs, just to show y'all like what all I get so far. And I'll show y'all my storage as well so y'all can see that I'm not fusing my essences or anything. So you see, it's not that bad of a run. It's pretty quick. All right, two water highs. Okay, I got lucky there. But okay. so that's where my storage is at right now, and I'll go throughout this and just take pictures of everything. All right.
Okay, so I just finished Essence Farming finally. It took a lot of time, a lot of crystals. So, I showed you my storage before and I'll show you again right now. So, you can see I didn't fuse any of the Essence. I farmed a whole 20 highs. I went ahead and farmed the Magic highs and I, I included that in there. So, here we go. Yeah. I have a long way to go. Um, I'll do the other one in another week. I'm just too lazy to do all that farming again, and it took a long time. Um, so I roughly did the math. Um, I did. I took a picture of around like 57, 51 runs. From the water and i missed quite a few because i kept forgetting to do a screenshot but um it was always like lows or something or unknown scrolls um and it's seven energy for each run which would take which uh adds up, adds up to 357 energy for the water highs and then i did 43 runs for the magic dungeon uh, for b8 at least um and that's that roughly is worth 301 energy which is uh what 658 energy uh so i divided that by 80 for each um for each refill that i had to do and it was just about like eight refills so that's like 240 crystals and i had most of the uh, magic energy all, all i had to do was farm four highs so you gotta take that into consideration so i could have used closer to over a thousand energy just doing that. So it's not that I'm farming really fast. I can farm fast, but I'm spending a lot of energy and crystals at the same time. It's not um, It's not that I'm really lucky with my drops. You can see I got a lot of a low essence drops. So that's basically all you gotta do is spam the dungeon like crazy and do, a, um, uh, do like one of the middle stages. So I always recommend B7 or B8 because it goes by really, really fast and um, it gives you more chance for high energies, but hopefully that helps out. It's not really a walkthrough. It's just showing you all that essence farming is not as easy as it looks. Everyone struggles with it. I mean, we all have horrible drop rates, but it, you just got to do a lot of runs to get where you need to be.